Well, good morning. Happy Thursday to you as we wake up to greet the day and wake up to greet our Lord. Today, um, we are reminded that it's so important for us to pray every day. And I just am so appreciative of those who have kept this as a practice. What a wonderful thing to do. Um, one of the things that one of my mentors told me recently, Pastor Ray Sheck, good morning, Laura. One of the things he told me was that we have to be reminded, uh, Charlene, good morning. We have to be reminded that the Psalms are the first prayer book. And so as we pray, we can come back to the Bible because the Psalms are a prayer book in the Bible. And so we keep using that as a reminder for us. Good morning, Fred. Good morning, Bridget. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to come back to one of my favorite Psalms. This is Psalm 91. Uh, good morning, Carol. Good morning, Leanne. Psalm 91, and we're going to be praying this this morning over us, over my church, over the people in your in your family, over those that are on your heart this morning. And what I like to do is, in particular, with Psalms that we know very well, um, I put up different translations because. Sometimes when we, we read it in a translation that we know, it kind of, we, we see it the same way. But when we shift to a different translation, it might change a word or change a little bit of a perspective on something that gives us a fresh um, understanding or a fresh image of that. So that's what we're going to do today is take some time and pray this. Good morning, Bonnie. Good morning, Linda and Barbara. Man, we got a we got a crew this morning. This is awesome. <laughs> Rhonda's in there too. Man, praise God. This is awesome. Cool. So this morning I was thinking about this Psalm 91. Uh, it has this word refuge in it. That's one of the things that it talks about. And it's this word. I have the definition in the notes. It says a refuge. A condition of being safe or sheltered from pursuit, danger, or trouble. Let me say that again. Refuge. A condition of being safe or sheltered from pursuit, danger, or trouble. This psalm repeatedly says, I will say the Lord is my refuge. We, we live in a season where there is no shortage of danger. No shortage of pursuit. We're being pursued by an invisible threat, one that we cannot see, and one that can be contagious. And so there's no, no lack of trouble in the world. And the question is, what is our refuge? What do we turn to? Where is the shelter and safety in our life today? Is it in our government? Is it in our money? Is it in is it in whatever it is? And so this morning we're raising, we're rising and we're saying our refuge is not in those things, but it's in God, who is our king, who is our refuge and strength. So let's begin. And let's take some moment. The Scripture passages are in the video comments. Um, please follow along as you're able. At the end, I'm going to ask you not just what, what verse stood out to you, but take that verse and write a prayer from it um, towards someone that God's put on your heart. So let's read. As you read this again, think about what verse may stand out to you this morning, and then also how you can Take that verse and then write a prayer for someone who God's laid on your heart. Let's pray. Dear Holy Spirit, we thank you for all the wonderful people that have gathered this morning in their homes all across this country even. And I just pray that you would unite us with your love, unite us with your power, that we can join in this moment of encouraging each other 
though we may be distant, that we may do this in a real way. And so, Father, we just pray over this time, would your word be planted in our hearts and minds that we would come to you, that your word would be a refuge for us, that your presence with us would be our strength in this season. And God, that we would keep coming back to you, our shelter in times of need. Use your word, speak it over us, and then allow us to speak your word over someone else today. We pray this in the mighty name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. First reading, Psalm 91, the New King James Version. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His trust shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by the day, nor of the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give you his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent shall tramp, you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. As we read Psalm 91 again, we use a different translation, praying this prayer from a different angle and letting these words touch our hearts. Let's pray together. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from disease. He will cover you with his feathers and he will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side. Though 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Amen. Amen and amen. Again, as we read these Psalms, be asking God for one thing that stands out to you and that word that you receive from God, then write a prayer off of that for someone else that God puts on your heart today. Our last reading will be Psalm 91 again, but from the message translation. This gives us a different look at this Psalm too. Let us pray. 
you who sit down in the, in the high God's presence, spend the night in Shaddai's shadow. Say this, God, you are my refuge. I trust in you and I'm safe. That's right. He rescues you from the hidden traps, shields you from deadly hazards. His huge outstretched arms protect you. Under them, you're perfectly safe. His arms fend off all harm. Fear nothing, not wild wolves in the night, not flying arrows in the day, not disease that prowls through the darkness, not disaster that erupts at high noon. Even though others succumb all around you, drop like flies right and left, no harm will even graze you. You'll stand untouched. Watch it all from a distance. Watch the wicked turn into corpses. Yes, because God's your refuge, the high God, your very own home. Evil can't get close to you. Harm can't get through the door. He orders his angels to guard you wherever you go. If you stumble, they'll catch you. Your job is to keep, is their job is to keep you from falling. You'll, you'll walk unharmed among lions and snakes and kick young lions and serpents from the path. If you hold on to me for dear life, says God, I'll get you out of any trouble. I'll give you the best of care. If you'll only get to know and trust me, call me and I'll answer. Be on your side in bad times. I'll rescue you then throw you a party. I give you a long life. I give you a long drink of salvation. Amen. Take a no moment now, my brothers and sisters. Write in response to this, what verse stood out to you, and then write a prayer for someone in your life off of that verse. Take a moment now and do that. Go ahead and post your, your prayer off of the verse that stood out to you, and then taking that verse and converting it into a prayer for someone. I've been praying verse 16 over my niece, Otelia who is in a fight for her life. She was born, um, I think two or three days ago at 25 weeks old and is struggling immensely. Um, I have no new update except for she's at Children's Hospital and they're working on helping her become stable. So my prayer for her this morning is that God would get Give Jesus, give my beloved niece, Atelia, a long life. Show her your salvation, that she may be testament of your goodness. Amen. Go ahead and post your prayer. As people are posting, I remind you at the end of this, take some time 
and pray through the prayers that people have posted so that we can join in praying for all the concerns that we have today. As we close, I'll say a, a final blessing in prayer and send us out. In the link, there is a video that I've posted. It's a video off of Psalm 91. So if you have time now this morning, I would ask you after we close here in prayer, go click on that YouTube video and let that song speak to your heart this morning. It's a song that came off of, that was inspired by Psalm 91. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your words. We thank you that you are our refuge. God, that we can come to you. You are our safety and shelter in time of trouble and distress. We believe you. We run to you. We come to you now. As dangers encroach about us, we come and sit under the shelter of your wings. Jesus, hear our prayers this morning for those that we love, those that are struggling, those that need to know you as, our, as their refuge, that they may find peace even amidst hard times because you are a God who is a refuge. And so, Father, bless us today as we give ourselves to you. Thank you for your word and planted it in us. May it grow in depth so that we can live fully for you. It is all for you and for your glory, we pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, go in peace, knowing that God is your refuge today. God bless you.